Welcome to Easy Biology. There are two circulatory systems. One is single circulatory system and other is double circulatory system. And humans have double circulatory system. In this, the heart pumps blood through two circuits. One is known as pulmonary circuit. This circuit is linked with lungs and the other is systemic circuit this circuit is linked with the whole body the pulmonary circulation transports blood to the lungs and at the lungs oxygen diffuses into the blood from alveoli and blood becomes oxygenated oxygenated means it's rich in oxygen and carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood to the lungs. So, the lungs pass on this carbon dioxide out of the body. And in double circulation, the blood passes through the heart twice in one circulation. So, systemic and pulmonary circulation. We have already started about pulmonary circulation now we are going to focus on systemic circulation. So systemic circulation transports oxygen and nutrients to the body. Carbon dioxide and other waste away from the cells. So in this case, in systemic circulation, the oxygen and nutrients are carried by the arteries to the body and the waste is carried by the vein back to the heart. Systemic circulation is under high pressure. Why? Because it has to deliver blood to the extremities of the body. So heart has to send blood to the top region, means your brain, and it also has to send the blood to, your fing to the fingers of your toe. So it should be of high pressure so it can be transmitted fast. The pulmonary circulation is under lower pressure because blood is delivered to the lungs only, which are very close to the heart. So in a healthy person, this lower pressure is optimum for the diffusion of gases. As the carbon dioxide is given to the lungs and oxygen is absorbed into the blood. So, systemic circulation is under high pressure and pulmonary circulation is under low pressure. So, what are the substances that are transported in the systemic circulation? First of all, nutrients. Nutrients include all the products of the food that is digestive in digestive system. And the respiratory substances, the waste products from the cells are taken by the blood away from cells. And water, salts, nitrogenous waste such as urea is also taken away from the cells. Other than this, protection substances such as those substances that are important for blood clotting, or substances such as white blood cells that are used for immune defenses. Immune defense means something that saves you from a disease causing organism. And this is also circulated by the blood. Regulation. Regulation includes the chemicals that are present in your body hormones they are also transported by the blood so these all things need to be transported by the blood so the circulation is very important please subscribe my channel thank you